Yeah. And the food looks delicious. I love the place. It's just so New York. We're so lucky to live in a city like New York, aren't we? Yeah. We can just come yeah. somewhere like this and hear live music all night. Yeah. It's so wonderful. named Jimmy Van Heusen, who's very dear to my heart, who comes from my same hometown of Syracuse, New York. But he was not always Jimmy Van Heusen. His real name was Edward Chester Babcock. And he was born in Syracuse in 1913. And he was a terrible student and he was expelled from three different schools. And when he was in school, he was cutting class to work on a radio station. And his manager said, you know, you're so great, but your name, Edward Chester Babcock, that's a terrible radio name. And so that day he was walking down the street and he saw a sign for Van Heusen shirts. And that day he became Jimmy Van Heusen. And he went on to write more songs recorded by Frank Sinatra than any other composer. And he wrote this song for a film called The Joker is Wild. One of his many Oscar winning songs. That's true. Yes. Do you want me to tell the story? Sure, Bill has okay. a story that he likes to tell before. Do you want this or? Is it on? I don't know. I don't think I think I shall just project. Just shout. 1957. Which is like what, 20 years ago? <laughs> Frank Sinatra had finished filming The Joker is Wild, the story of the great comic Joey Lewis, who said, A friend in need is a pest. So Frank finishes filming the movie and he flies to Vegas. So when Frank worked in Vegas, he worked from about nine at night till four in the morning doing little mini sets. He'd go to bed at seven, he would get up at four in the afternoon. He'd go run a few laps, and then he would have a steak, and then he would start all over again and do the shows and go back to bed. Now, there was one problem with the movie The Joker is Wild. There was no song to open the movie. So in horror and in fear, Con and Van Heusen quickly wrote a song, and then they had to audition it for Frank. Now, you think COVID was scary? You think the war in where are we fighting now? Anyway, you think any of that's scary? I'm going to tell you what's scary. Con and Van Heusen had to wake Frank Sinatra up at 2, not 4 in the afternoon, to audition the song for him. So they wake Frank up and they drag him into a rehearsal studio. Frank is hungover, he's in his bathrobe, he's unshaven. And Frank is sitting at the table, and Sammy Kahn goes out in the middle of the room, throws his arms open, and sings the tune to audition it for Frank. And Frank looks up and he says, let's eat. Which meant the song was approved. Now that song went on to win an Oscar. It went on to win a Grammy. It went on to become a gold record. It Got, went on to be recorded by hundreds of people, but the highest praise that that song ever got was that little Let's Eat from a hungover Frank Sinatra at two in the afternoon. And now after that long, boring story, it's gonna be redeemed because Marissa's gonna sing the song. Yay!